if I'm packing and going on a trip, those are the ones that I'm taking with me. If my house is finna catch on fire and I can only take two, those are the ones that I'm taking with me. I'm just kidding guys, it's not that serious. If my house is burning, I would definitely not grab shape work. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana. If you are new here, welcome. Girl, go get a snack or get something to drink and just make yourself at home. And if you're returning, hey boo, welcome back. And I love to see your beautiful face. And I really appreciate you for returning to another one of my videos. Now, obviously, you guys can tell from the title. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my favorite shapewear of 2021. If you are subscribed to my channel, then you already know that I am most known for doing shapewear reviews, doing waist trainers, girdles, undergarments, and you guys know what and what not to wear underneath clothes. And so, obviously, it is the end of the year. And I don't know if you guys remember, but like in grade school, they have like a uh, what do they call it? Like senior favorites or class favorites are most likely to do this, da, da, da. I decided I would do like, you know, my own little shapewear version of that. So this video is actually going to be a three-part video. And the first one is going to be my favorite shapewear of 2021. The next video is going to be my least favorite shapewear of 2021. And then the third category is going to be my most comfortable shapewear because there were some that I really really like that are like my go-to's there were some that I don't like that I don't really ever use and then there were some that's like in between like okay these are not my go-to's but they're really comfortable if it came down to it I will still wear them and so instead of making one really long video I thought okay why not just break this up into three different parts that way I can focus on one thing at a time and I'm not taking up too much of your time at once when you're watching this video because I do respect your life and I know that you guys are busy ladies and so I just want to be in and out, be as discreet as possible, but also very effective. So if you're interested in seeing what my favorite shapewear is for 2021, then just keep watching. So as I already stated, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorites, which are my go-tos, the one that I use the most and most frequently. And surprisingly, you guys, it's not that many. And the first one is my J Sculpt waist trainer. Now, me and this waist trainer go way back. This was like my first shapewear uh, review video this is actually my first waist trainer and I literally have like I don't know maybe three or four videos about the specific waist trainer where uh, we kind of went through it I don't know if you guys can tell but it doesn't have any straps on it because I cut the straps off I had a wire poking out cut that wire out it was some wear and tear a little bit but you know I just kind of fixed it and surprisingly you guys i still wear this waist trainer quite often i wear it a lot so i had it for like a little over a year now but it still does the job you guys and this one i believe is 60 dollars um or i believe it was on sale for 60 dollars so maybe about 60 to 80 dollars i do feel like i got my money's worth even though it was wear and tear um because i was able to still make it work i feel like i got my money's worth had i not cut the straps off and still had the wires I'm not sure if I would still be using it, but because your girl was determined and on a budget, um, I made it work and I like it a whole lot more now that I've altered it than when I have originally bought it. And if you haven't seen my other reviews upon it, then go ahead and check them out. Okay, ladies, so my next favorite shapewear, and this is not in any specific order, is the Extreme Curves leggings with the built-in waist trainer now this is my most recent review so this is my newest shapewear out of my collection but this was so comfortable that it immediately was a favorite as soon as i tried it on now, what i really like about this and i'm not gonna do a review guys because i have a whole video that's specifically for review but again what i really like about this is that it has a zipper you guys i love zippers sometimes zippers can still give you a line but not nearly as much as it would show if you just have the hooks now if the shape has really good compression then they can have the hooks and it won't be as visible which um is rare but i have seen it before but nine times out of ten if it has the hooks it's going to be visible at least a little bit and then when you sit down it might start dipping and folding and waving 
saying hi to everybody, but into your conversations, interrupting, you know what I'm saying? And I really don't like that because I want my shapewear to look as seamless and as natural as possible. You don't want people to look at you and be like, oh, she's wearing shapewear, which nine times out of 10, most women are wearing some sort of shapewear girdles or the ones who aren't probably had plastic surgery or probably just don't care. And hey, that's cool to each its own. But when I wear my shapewear, I want it to look as natural as possible. And so what goes with this hand in hand is the arm and breast shaper. So this is intended to shape your arms and to shape your breasts and kind of lift your breasts up. So I guess that's the shaping of the breast because it's actually cut out right here. And it actually pairs really well with the leggings with the built-in waist trainer. Um, and it has really good control for you ladies who may have underarm fat that you may be insecure about or don't like or want, you know, just more control over when it to be nice and firm. Um, those of you guys who are scared to put your arms up or point because you're scared of the jiggle ladies, this is a game changer. This is exactly for that. I don't really have a much of an issue with it. I mean, yes, I do have some arm fat. If I move it, it's going to jiggle. But it's not super visible, not something I'm insecure about or anything. But, you know, just in the event that I want to <laughs> control it or even shape myself and let the girl sit up a little bit higher, then this is definitely a go-to. And it's very comfortable. So I really, really like that as well. Okay, ladies, so last but certainly not least, we have the bandage up waist trainer. Now, I know you guys are probably not surprised that this is one of my favorites. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually wearing one right now. I have, I don't even know how many of these that I have. Um, I have a few from Shape LLX and then um, other companies have sent me theirs. I've ordered some off of Amazon, you know, just trying comparing different companies. And this has to definitely be my favorite. Literally, I wear this one almost every day. I wear it to church. I also wear it to the gym. This one specifically, what I really like about this one is the curve that it gives you. What I would say, the main difference between the bandage wrap and the J-Scope, because those are literally my two like go-to ride or die waist trainers, is that the J-Scope helps more of the fupa and helps my stomach look flat, while also giving me a nice curve. But the curve can kind of look a little too harsh because there's like a, a bend, maybe because I've had it so long, or maybe from washing, I don't know. Or maybe because maybe even missing um, a wire, but it has a bend. So sometimes I make a joke and I say, I look like a queen ant. You know, I don't know if you guys know queen ants. They have like the really big butt and the very defined, you know, dip in between it. Sometimes I feel like I look like a queen ant. Whereas with the bandage wrap, it's just nice and curvy, but it doesn't do too much for the fupa. So you can possibly still have a fupa or it can make the dip between your back and your butt not as defined and it might look more like this but honey you will have your hips looking like a coca-cola bottle hourglass figure whatever it is that you want it to look like it will look like that a whole s the number eight whatever as you guys can tell when you sit down the bandage wrap it still snatches you as far as whereas with my other one when i sit down it doesn't look the same now if you want to know more about it i did a whole one week vlog where i took you a week in my life doing different activities with this this is not all perfect and rainbows and sunshine it does have some cons to it but if you'd like to know more about that then you can go ahead and watch those videos and this one is specifically from shape llx so ladies that is all that i have for my favorite shapewear of 2021 as you guys can see it wasn't much i am picky in a lot of senses because you know I'm so serious about the snatch, ladies, about looking natural. And um, those products that I just went over, those to me are my most natural, most comfortable pieces of shapewear. Now, that's not to say that the other ones are not as good or they're not comfortable as well, but these are just my favorites. These are my go-tos. If I'm packing and going on a trip, those are the ones that I'm taking with me. If my house is going to catch on fire and I can only take two, those are the ones that I'm taking with me. I'm just kidding guys, it's not that serious. If my house was burning, I would definitely not grab shapewear. But you know, that was just an overly exaggerated example that yes, these are my favorites. And so if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any questions about the shapewear that I just showed you. If you're interested in purchasing the shapewear that is in the video, then I will definitely be including the links to them in the description box below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, sis, and that notification bell next to it. 
so that you can be notified every time I upload a video and you don't want to miss out because I have so much in store for you guys. Also guys, remember every time you guys like, comment, or share any of my videos, you guys help me out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm and that way YouTube just disperses my video and I'm able to give more ladies tips and you guys are able to help me to grow my channel. Now this is a three part video, so if you would like to hear what my least favorite shapewear is of 2021, then make sure that you tune into the next video. Thank you ladies so much for watching this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.